What's up, beautiful people, and thank you for popping in. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some natural hair practices that you should or you should not be doing. These practices are little things that you actually do not consider, but as little as they are, they are actually very important because they contribute to a healthy head of natural yes, hair. I am St. Dupes and I am here to help you embrace your natural hair by showing you how to make your natural hair journey less stressful and healthy in the most economical way possible. First of all guys, before I go on, let's read this straight. Okay, so the major thing that people talk about actually is oh my god my hair is not manageable so the problem is actually not that your hair is not manageable it is mindset because for everything that we do for everything that we try we put our hands on and we want to make something out of it we actually need to understand how this particular thing has to be taken care of just the way we try and put all our energy into understanding and learning how to take care of how we so the same technique applies to your natural you really need to understand what exactly you should be doing or what you should not be doing not to act myself too much guys i actually believe that i'm in the position to share with you some of these things because of my year of practices and experiences i have been natural for five years and i've had two huge setbacks one was in 2016 when I, when life happened i was not basically just taking care of my hair and the other one was just last year when i discovered that i had alopecia areata which is sudden but and i shared my story in this video right here as much as share my progress for nine months with you so if you're suffering from alopecia areata excessive shedding excessive breakage you may want to check this video out i'm going to put a link in the description so that you can quickly have an access to it so moving on i'm going to be sharing with you how to shampoo your hair i actually see a lot of people complain i hear them complain about shampooing being a problem for because in actual fact you shouldn't be spending more than 10 minutes when shampooing your hair and how do you do that how do you make it less stressful how do you make it less tangled on wash day i'm going to be sharing all of the juices with you i'm also going to be taking you through the best way to comb your natural hair people say their natural hair makes them cry it is too hard to comb they kind of like cry and make it so hard they say it to make you feel like it is just a, a nightmare for them to comb their hair but it should not actually be so you should not be breaking combs i've gone through that stages before when my hair used to break combs back then but not anymore because i have learned how to comb my hair properly in the best way and i am also going to be sharing all of that with you so that next time you comb your hair it becomes a walk in the park there is also something we call the loc method in the natural hair community and that is the moisturizing method for natural hair so you've probably been seeing it all around people talk about it don't really understand or you already seen it you're practicing it but something is actually not working so i am going to be talking to you about the loc method and also break the other method because we don't have just the loc there is the lo there's the lc and there's also the lc who method of moisturizing your natural hair subsequently i'm going to be sharing with you some stuff about satin bonnets yeah guys um if you're in nigeria especially in lagos and Noya state people are wearing their satin bonnets out now like i'm like okay this is supposed to be a nightwear <laughs> but that is not what i'm talking about right now i'm going to be sharing with you things that you need to know about satin bonnet should you actually get it should you not get it and also share with you some guidelines to purchasing your own satin bonnet so that you can make sure that if you're actually getting a satin bonnet you're getting the one that is protecting and also keep your hair moisturized for as long as possible and all of these things that i mentioned i am going to be breaking them down into different steps tiny bits analyze it to make you understand and know what exactly you should be doing what you should not be doing i think you should know guys that this video is actually an introductory video to what to come because there is a series that is starting next friday that you do not want to miss and i titled the series little things that contribute to hair the head of natural hair you do not want to miss this if you are actually serious about taking care of your natural hair managing it in the less stressful way possible and i'm not actually going to stop with all of these that i mentioned 
right here in subsequent videos i'm going to be sharing with you how to create your own hair regimen understand your hair porosity understand what is called hygrophatic and so much more stuff that you will learn to make your natural hair journey less stressful and enjoyable on this channel if you think this series is going to be for you make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you can catch up when this video starts rolling out next week friday now don't be selfish guys this information is not for you alone and as the saying goes there is love in sharing so you're going to do a few things for me and so many other people that are not watching this video right now so you're going to please like this video leave a comment and let me know if this is for you let me know your hair struggles and let me know the things that you would want me to talk about in all of my videos something that you do not understand just let me know in the comment section and ultimately share this video with all of your friends that are returning to natural they are beginners or all of the people that you think that you struggle together in managing or taking care of your natural hair so if you take your time to do that for me which i really really going to appreciate this video is going to reach so many more people so if you are new here thank you for joining in don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that we can get this series rolling and starting all together let's keep it date here every friday 8 p.m west african time 4 p.m cst cst is not standard time bye guys